Morning, welcome. We're about to do a mock test with the lovely Amber who has the driving test. Where's your, where's your driving test, Amber? Thursday. Thursday's two days time. So we're very excited, aren't we, Amber? Uh, so we're doing a mock test. We're gonna try and get rid of any mistakes that we might make on the day. And get them out of the way today. Yeah. How are you probably. feeling? <laughs> Bit nervous. Bit nervous. Yeah. yeah. What What are you nervous about? Because obviously everything's different on do the day. So anything can go wrong. Do you feel ready? Yeah. You do feel ready. Yeah. Ready and confident, but nervous. What about your manoeuvres? Um, confident on most confident. of them. Yeah. yeah. Just need to not overthink it. Yes. That's what it is. You're an overthinker, aren't you? Yeah. Overthinker. Yeah. I've been a bit nervous this morning. Yeah. Um. So we're going to follow sat nav. Four yeah. out. Of four in five people follow sat nav, one in five would follow signs, but we're gonna stick with sat nav today. Okay. You've done signs with me before, so yeah. we don't need to worry about that. Okay. Um, we're gonna do a recent test route. Uh, no. No. Okay. So on the test, you'd normally read a number plate at the beginning of the test mm -hmm. outside. We're not gonna do that because it's been pouring down with rain and I know you can read. Yeah. Um, you'd also be asked a show me tell me question, but again, now how would you know if there's a problem with the power assisted steering? Power assisted steering? I don't know. Not too sure. No. Okay. So that's an interesting one. So hold the wheel with your left hand. Mm -hmm. This hand. Good. Now give it a little bit of pressure. There you go. Turn the car on at the same time. Mm -hmm. Did you feel it release? Yeah. Okay. That's how you know there's a problem. So it wouldn't really... Put that into words. Okay. Quite literally. Turn it on. Put that into words. So if it doesn't release then it's not. There you go. So at the moment, when your key's in, it's not power assisted steering. No. So you're trying to pull those wheels on this two tons of metal on the on the paving. Yeah. And it's not it's not budging very easily. No. Yeah? You, you haven't got your full power in there. Yeah. But if you turn the power assisted steering on, that's the hydraulics, the car's kicking in and now helping you so to now turn it helps the wheels. You, turn the wheel. you didn't think you were doing all the turning when we're just cool. So you need to brush up on that one. Yeah, that's all I need. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. When you hear this noise Within three minutes, there's going to be a fault. I want you to try and find the fault and pop it in the comments below. What is the fault? What haven't I mentioned? Comments below. So to kick the lovely mock test off, if you'd like to look to your left, you will see the driving test center. And there is someone just doing their bike test. Something that's worth mentioning is as you come out the test center and you turn left here, there's often a car parked right there. So if you don't check both ways properly and a car's coming from this direction, uh, you're going to be in with a shock and someone's going to have to reverse and you fail your test. So make sure you double check both ways before pulling out the test center. Turn right, then bear right. Now these first five minutes of your driving test are absolutely critical because you are at your most nervous. Now the examiner's gonna keep that in mind, uh, but just try your best to stay as calm as possible. Really think everything through because in the next few minutes, you're gonna cool right down, you're gonna calm right down. Uh, you've just got to get through these next few minutes. If you'd like to look to your right just here, you'll see that Amber just very clearly checked her right and central mirror to go around this van. Very nice start to the driving test, I might add, Amber. If you ever hear the sat-nav saying it's bare right or bare left, generally it just means you're not going to need a signal. It's a continuous road with a slight bend. So just keep that in mind. I'm only missing like the introduction of, you know, getting timetables and whatever. And we have a very boring bit here for a few seconds. So I'm just going to keep you busy by talking and speed the video up. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, Amber's gone right round the outside. She's keeping that positioning perfect. Uh, she's second gear, she's signalling off, she's checked the mirrors, absolutely spot on. Can't fault it. If you look at this road ahead, it's really nice and clear. It's a 30 mile per hour road. There's no reason why we shouldn't be keeping up, and Amber is. 
So again, well done. Now this will be mostly a rural route or a huge part of it will be rural. So if you have rural routes in your area, it's well worth watching this because we're going to cover limiting points. We're going to be covering national speed limits. We're going to be covering everything you will need for your driving test if there is a rural route involved. It's going to love that. If you'd like to have a little look at the sat nav, you'll see that we're turning left and Amber has clearly checked the central and left mirror here before signaling. So again, flawless. This particular road has loads of parked cars, so let's keep an eye on her. Let's see if she's checking those mirrors regularly. So she has this time, yeah, perfect. She made sure it's clear before going round, and she's checked the other mirror going back as well. What can you say? Now this corner here is a little bit gross. Let's have a look at what happens. Was this Amber's fault? I mean, from this point, we can see the white cars coming. So ideally, we could have pulled up behind this car on the left rather than waiting until after the car. However, oh, they were having to come onto our side of the road. Get your thoughts in the comments. Was it a fault? Was it a serious fault? Was it a minor or was it no fault? At the end of the road, turn left, Gallows Street Lane. I am putting it down as a minor fault, a driving fault essentially, because we could have seen earlier and we could have waited behind the cart, made it all a little bit awkward. What I will say though is these are one of those situations that you can seriously overthink and can affect the rest of your driving tests. What you've got to try and do is move on and think, okay, it doesn't matter, let's see what's next. Was it dangerous? No. Okay, well, that's fine. Now this is a learn's worst nightmare. Not just one bike, not two bikes. We've got a friggin' army of bikes. What do we do? Well, we're approaching the roundabout, so should we ever take right here? No, I don't think so. Let's follow them. And then we've got 
two lanes. What could we potentially do? Check our mirrors. Yeah, okay, we're going to the other lane. Check the blind spot. Gone past them, sped up. Perfect. Couldn't have done best myself. Now what you should have picked up here, Amber, is the street lights. If you look at the street lights, you would have realized this was a 30 mile per hour zone and you're going 35, 36. I mean, even the sat now is blinking and you've gone into a 40 at 35, 36. What do you guys think? Is that a fail? Is that a serious fault? Or is that, I'm just gonna go with a minor with that one. At the moment, I'm putting it down as a minor fault. Get your opinions in the comments. really common mistake on this roundabout is people either use the right lane which is the overtaking lane for this particular round you don't need to or they use the left lane but then they just go straight down the middle between two lanes on the roundabout and it's not very well marked so it's quite difficult let's have a look at this no it stayed on our side of the line well done I have just given a driving fault here. See if you can work it out what it is and get it in the comments below. This is a really good bell mouth junction here with almost a slip road and it's you've used this really well amber hugs the curb the whole way round uh, delaying traffic behind you as little as possible so well done Just an advisory here, you've uh, made the car judder because you've gone into first gear pulling over and the cars have to slow down quite quickly. Maybe just leave it in gear before pulling over. When it's safe to do so, can you reverse back two car spaces? Think about why the examiner is asking you to do a maneuver. It's because they want to see you reverse and they want to see where you're looking. Actually getting this car in the space is only half the battle. The other half is are you going to do it safely without causing an accident or anything else? So make sure you're looking behind you. So there's really, really good Amber. Uh, constantly checking behind you. Well done. Okay. That's fine. When it's safe to do so, drive on. Now you can't actually see it with the camera, but if you look in the distance, there is actually a car and that's why Amber's chosen to wait here. Something to consider for future though, is we might as well turn the signal back off as well. If we leave it on, perhaps the driver might think we're gonna pull out on them. Oh good, I'm not saying that at all. Uh, by the way, if anyone spots something that they think I've missed, make sure you get it in the comments below. Let us know what have I missed. You hope so. Did you have a good weekend? Stunning place, 
really, really nice, you know? Milkshakes. Like now, that. this is really easy to miss, but as you enter a new road, this is where you get the speed signs. And on this road, this is called Three Mile Lane for a good reason, because it's three miles long. And this is the only sign you've got to indicate your speed for your three miles. So if you miss it, you're then going to have to watch the other video that I've got about your speed limits and how to guess them. Uh, but basically, there's no street lights. So if Amber did miss a sign, she would know the speed limit because there are no street lights, which means it's a national speed limit. Uh, and it's a single carriageway, so it's 60 miles per hour. Milkshakes, ice creams, llamas, lemurs, alpacas, whatever. What's the Chickens. Oh. Um, all sorts, you know? Mm -hmm. Really, really, really nice, stunning place. But they hate children. They're not child friendly at all. A little bit. Children should be seen and not heard. And not touch the ice cream glass. Oh, you know yeah. those ice cream parlor things? Yeah. They got one of those like right out, sticking out. Yeah. Saying, please, please rub me, you know? <laughs> so, the, so the kids touched it? Yeah. Oh, no. You know, because it's steamed up. So yeah, 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 yeah. So, they, yeah. so someone told one of the boys off oh, for no. touching it. I had two options at that point. Could either do that. Excuse me. Yeah. Or gulp the glass myself and rub it. <laughs> I thought you said join in with telling the kids off. No. No, it's a flaming ice cream thing. What, what are you gonna yeah. do if you see one of those? You're gonna, you're gonna touch it. You're gonna touch it. Did it have a sign saying do not touch? No. Well then. No, it did not. What did they expect? And if you're gonna stick it out in the room to invite people to come and look inside it, mm -hmm. kids are gonna touch it. Exactly. So what did I do? You let him touch it. I walked up to it, gave it a good rub, put my name in it. Oh my god. Left you out. Yeah. I bet they loved you after your family left. 50 quid for a breakfast. Yeah. Per person? No. Oh. Still? 50 quid? Yeah, still. No, no. Let's discuss limiting point quickly. So your limiting point is the furthest point you can see down the road. So in this particular area, our limiting point is the left side of the road, the hedge. And at the moment, it's quite far away, which means we can go slightly faster. So Amber's building up to 50 miles per hour, which is quite reasonable. Any bends reduce our limiting point closer. And the closer the limiting point gets, the more we ease off the gas and we slow the car down. It's still looking really far ahead at the moment. So we're continuing to build the speed up. Now take this with a pinch of salt, but a nice straight clear road like this, that's national speed limit. It's not raining, it's dry, all conditions are perfect. Uh, the examiner would expect you to be well above 40 miles per hour. Uh, we're okay at the moment it does depend on a lot of things but what i'm saying is going 30 miles per hour all the way is not going to be acceptable on a national speed limit road which on the straight parts like this as we get to the end of this road you can see your limiting point is se severely going to decrease you can't see any further than this bend here with the hedge on the right this means we're going to need to reduce our speed for this bend and keep an eye if there's any more bends in future because we don't know what on earth is around that As you can see, limiting point really close again, and there's another bend, another sharp bend here. Gotta reduce the speed now, so we're down to 30. This is really good. Limiting point's really, really close, so we're just keeping the speed down. As you see this sign on the left with a beacon, gotta be fully aware of that, because you will literally have cows crossing the road right here, and look at this limiting point. That is a very sharp bend, which means we need to slow right down. After 400 yards, turn left, 3 mile lane, then turn left. Now 
Now, you don't often see this sign. In fact, this is the only place I've ever seen this sign, but it's there for a very good reason. In fact, I think it could be a lot bigger because essentially you need to go around this bridge at 10 miles per hour if you plan to stay on our side of the road, that is. So we are coming to an absolutely horrendous hill here. It's also got a big fat stop sign. Uh, so we're having to stop properly, full stop, on the hill and try and get close enough to the white line so we can see. Not an easy feat. So this was a really safe option. We've stopped too far behind the white line, which is the important thing to do when there's a stop sign. If you're in doubt of where the best place to stop is, then we've edged forward. Uh, so we're a bit closer so we can actually and see. Then we've got time to go. Something to be aware of with this road is it is a 40 mile per hour road that we're driving out onto, which means the cars are going to be up to 40 miles per hour. We've got to get up to 40 miles per hour. So we don't want to pull out with a gap that's too small because they'll end up right up a backside and that's a test fail because we've severely slowed someone down. So just keep that in mind when pulling out here. If you'd like to look to your left and your right, you'll see there's a 50 mile per hour sign. So the speed has changed very quickly. So we'd really like to get our speed as close as possible to that 50 mile, provided the road is safe to do so. But you have got to judge that yourself, depending on the weather conditions, etc. As you can see at the moment, it's looking nice and clear. The limiting point is far ahead. So we should be trying to get up to speed. quite unusual uh, but if you look here there's just one sign on the right side with a picture of a national speed limit sign and this is a new zone mm -hmm. normally with a new zone you should have a sign on both sides so i can only think it's a mistake it's come down a lorry city i have no idea but pay pay attention this is now a national speed limit road so we should be heading for you know 50 and above provided the conditions are safe no absolutely so if you had a test at eight o'clock what are your chances of getting a route like that Cross the other right, bit, bit more the likely. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not definite, that's all. You know, if you have a test at 8 o'clock in the morning, you're not guaranteed that particular route. Yeah, but it's more likely. Yeah. Yes, it's more likely. I would think basically the route's going to be timed for the traffic. To get back to the test centre within 35 to 40 minutes. So, do they think a route on the day? Uh, or no, they the, have it no, it'll already be allocated. When you book yeah. your test, your examiner and your test route would be allocated. Really? Pretty sharpish, yeah. Because if you think about it, some people get their tests cancelled. Mm -hmm. The reason they get their test cancelled is because the examiner has taken a holiday at that time of your test uh, right. or whatever, so your test has been reallocated to. So with this being a national speed limit road, 43 miles an hour is probably a little bit slow. However, we've got vehicles in front of us, so we're just keeping up with them. So we can't do any more than that. Or one specific examiner say, say it's right. Jerry, he's yeah. got a specific test available with yeah. a specific route that's already been set. This is a rather long and boring road, so I'm just gonna speed it up and ask you, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found anything helpful in this video. Really common fail on a road like this is as we go into the 40 sign right here, we've gone from a national speed limit to 40 very quickly. People don't slow down quick enough and then they fail because they're going too fast in a new zone. Yeah. 
If you'd missed those signs, however, and were thinking, what's the speed limit? Best guess is if the street lights, it's 30. If it's more than that, you will eventually see a repeater, which is just a small sign on the left side, which will just let us know and remind us that it's a 40 so we can get our speed back up. That way we won't fail our driving test. Again, sign on both sides of the road showing this is a new zone, 30 mile per hour speed limit. We've got to be down to 30 before we enter through there. Um, if we we're a couple of miles over the speed limit, we may just end up with a minor. If we are, you know, over five miles an hour over the speed limit, we are going to end up with a potential serious fault, which is the end of your test. Keep an eye on the terrain, there's a big hill coming up, going downhill, uh, very easy to let your speed creep up if you're not covering the brake and you'll end up very quickly failing your driving test. So we've just taken our eye off the ball for a second here, we've managed to creep up to 33 in a 30 zone, so that's a cheeky driving fault. After 300 yards, right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A34, Lower Street. Flawless mirror and signal with a blind spot check here coming off the roundabout here. It just lets anyone know uh, nice and clearly where we're going and it makes sure that there's no one actually trying to sneak into our spot. So really nicely done. Right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, B5043, Brook Lane. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Something worth mentioning on this roundabout, um, everyone gets very confused because they miss the left turn there, the first exit, so if someone says second exit, this is the second exit, it's following the roundabout ahead, don't try and go around the roundabout into Morrison's, because uh, that'll be a, a sad day for everyone.
let's have a second look at that. So we've pulled over on the left and we've just hit the kerb. Now I'm going to put that down as a minor fault, just a driving fault. The way it generally works with the examiner is if you mount the kerb, it would generally be a serious fault. If you just touch the kerb, brush the kerb, it would just be a minor fault. What do you think? Do you think I've made the right decision calling it a brush or would you have given it a serious? Let me know in the comments and why. battery halfway around. Is this sat nav? Uh, no, don't worry about that now. It's following signs now, okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, just sorry, not following signs, just following directions. directions All right. Yeah. So we're just continuing to follow the road. If the examiner's not speaking, we're not saying anything, always assume, continue on. No, not. And what lane would you always assume? Left. Always assume left lane, that's correct. This is a horrible little junction here on the right. Loads of people struggle with it, make loads of mistakes. Uh, so just be aware of it. And then when there's a safe and convenient spot, would you pull over the left? Let's have a look what happened here one more time. What's we're, we're fine, we're fine. Bring the clutch up. Ah, we're still in gear. Okay, so that is a driving fault uh, for control, but not a biggie. When it says to do so, drive on. It's annoying that, isn't it? I know, the Right off passing, do you want me to just leave it off? Test. Uh, yeah. Don't reverse into any walls, will you? <laughs> yeah, no. End of the road, let's turn left. So we're so close to the test center now, just two minutes away. We can smell the finish line. This is the most important bit to keep your focus. So many people end up failing at this point because they just lose their focus. They take their eye off the ball and they make a silly hiccup. Just behind this car will be fine. Not too close. Perfect, when it's safe to do so, drive on. Yeah. And then we're gonna take the next road on the left. The end of your test? Yeah. yeah, if you could turn it off. Yeah. How'd you feel? I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't think I passed that. Don't ignore that. Ignore yeah. that bit. That's that's just is it, what I'm talking about. It's only a little minor. Yeah. All right, that's all. Yeah. So you don't feel like you passed? No. Why? Because of the situation with the other car at the start when there was the roadworks. Okay. I think I should have noticed it earlier, stopped and let them. Okay, come really, around. really good. Um, really, really good. Saying that though, was it dangerous? Mm, I don't know. You don't because know? they came, I feel like I maybe should have, because there was a car parked, mm -hmm. so I went round the car, so I was positioned a bit that way. What I'm saying is, did you deal with the situation yourself? 
Yeah. Did you slow them down? I mean, it was, to be honest, Not it was, really. it was there. It should have been our priority anyway. So they should have, but, but should I have stopped behind they that They were already car? coming around, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. So, yeah. but was it dangerous? Did I have to intervene? No. No? Not even nearly? No. No, could it have been more comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. So you could have dealt with it slightly better. Yeah. But should that then warrant a serious fault for danger? For, Not if it wasn't dangerous. Well, it didn't seem dangerous, so yeah. I, I, I wouldn't concern yourself too much with that. What else we got? Um, really good analysis, by the way. Uh, some, I was turning somewhere, I think. Turning somewhere. I can't, I can't think exactly what it was. That was the only thing that really stuck out massively. Okay. Um, okay. Let me know in the comments, do you think Amber should have passed or not? There's one particular point, okay, mm. there's one particular point that is an um and an ah, mm. and that's as we went up. You did really well with the cyclists, mm. by the way. That was brilliant. Oh, yeah. I that, was very that, impressed. I, thought, I didn't know whether going around them, I was like, oh, God. Perfect. Okay. You had a second lane. You've got cyclists. Mm. You could use a second lane safely. Yeah. It was very nicely done. A lot of people would have panicked there. It was really, should really I, well I did. Well, I was meant to stay behind them. Going. One hundred percent. Okay. Everything was perfect with that. However, after the cyclists, mm. what was the speed of the road? Thirty. Thirty. Until halfway up the hill, and then what was the speed of the road? Forty. Forty. Yeah. What speed were you before? Oh, was that faster before? Was that forty before? You were thirty. Thirty-six Six. before. So should okay. Amber fail? for being 36 before the 40 sign, still in the 30 zone, or should that go down as a driving fault? Let me know in the comments. I thought that was a 40 straight from the Did roundabout, you? yeah. A lot of people do, a lot of people yeah, do fail it's one there. Of them roads. Yeah, so I'm going to pass you today for that. Okay. I'm gonna give you a minor fault, a driving fault. It could go either way. Either with way, the, okay, yeah. so just make sure. 35, 36, um, it's been well known that people have got a couple of faults for going 35, 36 in, straight into a 40 zone. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, just for a second or so, yeah. mistakes happen. Yeah. 38, anything around there? No. You're done deal. Okay. Okay, because it's breaking the law, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. God, he's noisy, isn't he? No. Yeah. So, was there street lamps there? Is that what made it a 30 or did it tell you it was 30? There were street lights. Oh, okay. But the, the whole area that we'd been in was all was 30. 30. There was no okay. change in speed limit. Yeah. You'd see no new signs. Yeah, so we yeah. just automatically assume it's 30. That's it. Then we went through the 40, crossed the roundabout, and there was a, a bit there, but we'll talk about that in the comments. Um, okay. Then we turned left, we went and did your pull over on the right. Yeah. Fine and dandy? Yeah. Yeah. There was a few times that would I got minors for the times where I could have gone for hesitation. No, were they clear cut goes? One of them was. The one pulling out of three mile lane onto the main road. But I wanted to make sure I stopped because there was a stop sign. You did want to make sure you stop and, and, and that's the important thing. Mm. So now I'd put it down as an advisory and make sure you try and get a bit closer to the line. Yeah. But now I wouldn't put it down as a, a fault. Okay. So I thought you did really well with that. Okay. Um, where else? You've gone onto three mile lane, fine. You drove down there, absolutely fine. Went into town, absolutely fine. Um, yeah, that was all really, really well done. Pulling over on the left. You're a bit curvy, aren't you, Which, Amber? Oh my God, yeah, I know, I noticed that. Twice? Yeah. Twice. Yeah, I noticed that. Was that yeah. the two minors? It depends, again. On the... So, brushing the curb is mm. a minor. Mm. Hitting the curb. Is a serious. It's a serious. So okay. it's down to discretion of the examiner. Yeah. Okay. The first one, that was a good that nudge. Was, that, that was a, that was a solid yeah. nudge. Yeah. Okay. So just keep an eye on that. Okay. Um, maybe we'll practice that a little bit more. Yeah. If you could, if can you be too far away, so to speak? You or? can be too far away when you think if you see another car and it's in the middle of the road. Look, you've got to think when you're driving down the road, you've got a normal driving position. Yeah. And you've got someone where you're looking and you think, oh, they're parked. Yeah. If you're looking at a car and thinking they're in a normal driving position, they're not parked. You're no, too far out in the road. You've got to be enough to that. Like, yeah. So normally, if you want to okay. put that into numbers, I'd say about half a meter, okay. max. Oh. Yeah, quite, you've got quite a. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd rather. I'd rather be within the edge of the drains. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get away. Look, at the end of the day, the examiner knows that you're really nervous. Yeah. They know that you know you're not quite on your your top performance. That's why it's so important that you go to the test, better than than ready. Yeah, that's because true. Because then when you drop back down. Yeah slightly you're still good enough still to good pass enough. yeah so yeah i mean and it's the same with your parking as long as you're in the lines mm. 
you, you wouldn't want to leave your car at a stupid angle when you go to B&M or whatever, but um, the test purposes, make sure it's in the bay. Yeah, okay. All right? Yeah. Well done. Thanks. Good. Are you feeling ready? Yeah, is, I am. I think it's it, just nerves I need to sort of control a Was bit it as more. bad as you thought? No, not as bad as I not thought. As bad no. as there thought. was a few times, obviously, with the cyclists and stuff, it's like, oh, this had to happen, didn't yeah. it? But yeah. you're going to get things like that. Like you that. are going to get curveballs, and that was a really good curveball. Mm. You dealt with that well. It was you really think? good. I was right to go round them after the roundabout. Well, was there one to lanes? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. If there wasn't, if I'd come, like, if I'd gone around the roundabout and they were there and it was only a single lane, mm. would you advise to take over them or would you say just stay behind? Depends if it's safe to. Okay. Look, treat that big bunch of cyclists like a tractor or a, a, a gutter cleaner. You know, gutter sucker that yeah. cleans the gutters. You know, they're going 10 miles an hour. Yeah. Can you go around them safely? Yeah, do it. Can't You can't go around them safely? Then no, you okay. don't. Okay. Does that make, make sure sense? Make sure it's definitely safe. Make sure it's definitely It's all about safety, isn't it? Yeah. It's all about safety. Okay. The whole thing is about safety. Mm. Doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there. Saying that, if you'd followed the cyclists all the way up the hill when there's two lanes, mm. that wouldn't have been. No. That would have been crazy, yeah. crazy tough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're not crazy, are you? No. You're not crazy. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Um, anything else? Was there anything else with that? We pulled over three times. Happy mm. with that. Have you got any questions? I don't think so. What are we going to do about your nerves? Um. What are we going to do to deal with them? How many people know. have you told about your test? No, don't tell mum. Well then, don't tell anyone else about your test. Don't tell mum. Um, do you like bananas? Yeah. Eat a banana in the morning. Potassium is meant to be really good for you. Banana, for okay. Promise. Okay. Um, don't drink any caffeine. No. No caffeine. I'm sure you're not a caffeine drinker yet. Um, and are you feeling ready? You know, you've done yeah, this. Yeah, I, th I, feel, I feel ready. It's just obviously anything can happen. Anything so it's, can happen. But yeah. it's like with the cyclists, it's given me a bit more confidence because the way I dealt with it. Yeah. You dealt with it correctly. Yeah. Yeah, and you've passed today. Mm. So that's good. I think you've passed. We'll mm. see what they think. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Well done. Yeah. So right. with so if I did come up to if I did have that test route and those roadworks were still there and yeah. someone came round, what would you would you say to go round the car, then stop and wait for them to come because they were already coming round, or would you say just wait behind the parked car? It depends on the situation. Depends okay. how far around they were. I thought what you did was very good. I, I've given you a minor because it wasn't particularly comfortable. No, you it could wasn't, have yeah. slowed down more around the yeah. car and pulled in. Mm -hmm. um, but saying that, you did deal with it. You, yeah. you did everything correctly. It's hard to see round whether they'd stopped or whether they were coming round. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really sharp bend, isn't it? Yeah. And then when you've got track, uh, things parked on the on the mm -hmm. bend. And to be honest, they didn't slow down at all coming round no. there. They could have slowed down more, and they should have slowed down more in that situation. Two learners, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> dealing with the situation. But it was a yeah. learning curve for them probably. So you had to. Yeah extra you know really deal extra with it sorted, yeah. yeah extra sort it so to speak yeah. you would extra sort it like extra it, sort it. <laughs> okay well done that is it for today josh is driving instructor and amber wish amber luck in the comments below for mm -hmm. a test you will have the result with this mock test as well thank you very much josh out so obviously we, didn't, we never doubted it did we yeah. first time pass well done amber let's look at the certificate well done <laughs>